Oh, hello everyone and welcome to another viral math puzzle. The puzzle I'm going to show you has thousands of people confused. The problem looks simple but can you believe that people were arriving at three answers? And there was a lot of debate about which of these three answers was correct. So without wasting time, let me introduce the problem to you. Here it is. So then, what is your answer? As I said before, this problem had three popular answers. And here they are. 9, 1 and 7. Did you get one of these numbers as an answer? Okay, now you must be thinking how each answer was arrived at. So let me show you the ways of arriving at each of these three answers. Let's look at the first common answer, which is 9. This is how some people arrived at 9. Now let us look at the next popular answer, which is 1. And this is how some people arrived at 1. And finally, this is how some people arrived at 7. Okay guys, I must be honest with you. At least two of these three answers looked right to me. But what is the correct answer? Let us find out. First, we will get a little help from a friend. Senor Google. <laughs> Let us feed this question into Google and see what we get. Alright, so Google and its calculator agree that 9 is the correct answer. Now just for fun, I will ask a programming language to calculate the answer too. Python is a very popular programming language. Let us see what answer it gives us. Right, no surprises here. Like the calculator, we get a 9 once again. At this point, it is only fair that we quickly see how to arrive at 9. And to do this, we will refer to that technique for order of operations, which some people know as PEMDAS and others as BODMAS. So let's put down our question once again. So based on PEMDAS rules, one thing is clear and that is we need to first solve what is in the parentheses or brackets. And on doing so, we get now at this point you may think, we still have the brackets, hey? So should I multiply 2 with 3 first? The answer is no. We evaluate what was within the brackets first. So now we could rewrite our problem as... And at this point our problem contains division and multiplication operations. And we should note two things here. Firstly, according to PEMDAS or BODMAS, both operations, which is division and multiplication, have the same precedence. And because they have the same precedence, we evaluate the problem from left to right. So our problem becomes, which gives us 9. Did you figure this out? Please tell me what you thought of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My name is Sanjay and I make thought-provoking videos. Thanks a lot and bye for now.